looked upon Gorgoroth, the Valley of Terror, and the land of Mordor. Darkness lay then under the sun. Fire glowed amid the smoke. Mount Doom was burning, and a great reek rising. Then at last his gaze was held. Wall upon wall, battlement upon battlement. Black, immeasurably strong. Mountain of iron, gate of steel, tower of adamant. He saw it. Baradur, fortress of Sauron. In the year 1000 of the Second Age, upon the end of a long southern spur of the Ered Lithui in the northern part of the plateau of Gorgoroth, Sauron laid the foundation stone for the Dark Tower. It was nigh to Mount Doom and almost a hundred miles southeast of the Black Gate. Baradur was known as Lukburs in black speech and after 600 years of construction, it became the chief fortress of Sauron. The tower appeared even blacker and darker than the mantled clouds and shades in which it stood. The greatest fortress built after the fall of Angband. Founded upon a mountain throne above bottomless pits, it was immeasurably strong with many vast towers, walls and battlements made mainly of metal and other unbreakable substances. Gaping gates, great courts and dungeons with deep prisons challenged the free peoples of Middle-earth. From the steel gate of the tower, a causeway ran out into the plain of Gorgoroth, across a mighty bridge where lava floated from Mount Doom, channeled back across the plain. Upon the highest tower, there was the window of the eye, from which Sauron looked with the power of vision across the vast lands of Middle-earth. But in the year 3430 of the Second Age, Elendil and Gilgalad forged the last alliance of elves and men and defeated Sauron four years later in the Battle of Dagorlad. Then they passed into Mordor and besieged Baradur itself. The siege lasted for seven long years, until Sauron was finally defeated. But alas, Gilgalad and Elendil fell, vanquishing the Dark Foe. Isildur, son of Elendil, cut the One Ring from Sauron's hand and took it for his own. Then the Dark Tower was leveled, but its foundations remained. For Baradur was created using the power of the One Ring and could not be fully destroyed as long as the Ring existed. And so, the spirit of malice withdrew, biding his time until he was strong enough to take shape and rise again in the East when finally the Dark Tower was reconstructed. <laughs> 